save the pig! <laughs> what the heck? A pig with a party hat! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggy. You see the piggy. Save the pig, the game. The whole game you're trying to save the pig's life. Hell! I have received a generous $30 tip from an anonymous tipper saying donating to feed the hungry in the kingdom of Philomania today. Thank you so very much to an anonymous $30 tipper. A very generous tip there. Let's get you a nice animation. Thank you very, very much. So, that means we are now up to 50 bucks in contribution so far this morning. Thank you, thank you. All right. Well, Adam is here early today and just did a 100 Australian dollar super chat. Is it a whale? It is a whale because it has those whale-like teeth that filter things. It looks like cones. He's got a big old eyeball. I just received an incredibly generous contribution. A contribution I was not expecting to receive. Are you ready? I received a $200 tip. $200. This is crazy. I, I, I was not seeing coming today. Let's do a cool animation. I'm going to read you the message. $200. Oh, I, I actually didn't set it up. It says 93. That's wrong. I had to fix that. Uh, There we go. That's better. So, $200 tip. Let me read this off. I was just going to ask if you're ever going to return to Metaphor. It sounds like it's unlikely, and I completely understand. Either way, thanks for your content. I hope you continue to play these types of games, despite getting low views. Yeah, and the thing is, listen, I don't really care about views. I'm going to be honest with you. All right? What I care about is... Money, 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 money. BBC for DSP asking if I will start in OnlyFans. Gee, thank you so much for the dollar tip. I really appreciate that. Really, I do. Wow. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Junior Mint did 100 bit cheers. Would your parents disown you if you were gay? I don't think so. No. My, my aunt was gay. My aunt was gay her whole life. So I'm pretty sure that my parents would not disown me. <laughs> it's fine. It's not great. It's not terrible. But I mean... Basically, people didn't stick around for it. The weird thing is, we had a lot of support today. Uh, we had almost hit the goal before someone dropped a giant tip. So we got a, an awful lot of support for a game that people didn't want to stick around to watch. So what what kind of mixed message is that, right? Because remember, we're trying to determine, should I keep playing this or not? People are saying it's around 30, 40 hours long. We're seven hours in. I mean, it's going to be a commitment to keep playing it. And when I play it, I'm not, I don't even have 200 viewers. So I don't know. I can do whatever I want. I'll pull 5,000 Hogan's tonight and bankrupt myself if I want. That's my business. Nobody else's. Dark Side Pimp just gifted 21 subs. Whoa. Whoa, there's a whale. A giant whale. That's cool as a giant whale. This is a, a messed up message for anyone to get. To be told that like, oh, it sounds like you're about to lose your personal freedoms. Get out. You're about to be a slave. I mean, it's messed up, correct? We can all agree there. It's not a nice message. It's not, oh, that's not a, a warm-hearted jab or joke. That's a pretty mean-spirited message to get. And I think there's no one out there who's going to say, oh, no, that was a good one. It's more like, haha, what an asshole. You know, what a piece of shit to send someone that message. Okay? Now, the story says a few things that I feel like we need to address before we can even continue. The first thing it says is that this text message is going out to people of color, okay? Did the news story actually present any evidence of that whatsoever besides the one woman who was interviewed and the one person who I believe was a pastor or, you know, some religious leader who said that certain people that he knows have gotten it? Okay, where is the evidence that this is only going out to people of color? If you read the message, Okay, it says nothing whatsoever about race. Now, obviously, the uh, reference of cotton picking, which is a racist reference because it was here in the United States of America where many uh, African slaves were basically forced to pick cotton in plantations and fields, correct? This is factually true. So obviously, that's what the reference is. But nowhere there does it say that this is towards a certain group of people. 
there are times when maybe I'm like, man, I'd like to make a racial comment here or there. So, yeah, every once in a while. Yeah, I'll be honest, of course. You know, children being kidnapped and sold into slavery by corrupt cops. It's a joke. It's something to be real. It's a dark joke. There's nothing wrong with that. This message itself is admitted in this news story. It's outright admitted there's nothing illegal about this message. Now, you could say this message is very offensive. It's, it's insincere. It's or not insincere. It's uh, inconsiderate. It's actually targeting a group. It's trying to be insulting. Absolutely. All of that stuff that, I, that is true, but it's not illegal. So why is the FBI investigating this? The Federal Bureau of Investigation is investigating a mean text message. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I don't know if you know who I am. Allow me to explain. My name is Dark Side Phil. I've been a content creator for 16 years. I have arguably received more harassment of this nature and far worse in the 16 years that I've been a content creator than probably almost every person on earth. There's probably maybe another 50 people who got it worse than me because they're like, you know, horrible, awful murderers and co crime committers and shit. But I had it pretty fucking bad. All right. I'm all about myself. Oh, the stream's all about me. It's all about me. If the FBI investigated every time that I got a mean tweet, a mean text, an email, a post, shit, there's people who have entire businesses based around talking shit and insulting me and my family members. The FBI would need an entire fucking wing, a building full of agents personally investigating all the mean shit that's been sent to me or said to me or my family members because that's how much there's been. Is there a single FBI agent who's ever investigated an insult towards me? No. So why is the FBI investigating this particular text message? What is the trigger here? It's not against the law. We don't even have any evidence that this has been sent specifically to people of color. What you do with a troll is very simple, all right? As soon as you get that message, as soon as you get that email, as soon as you get that nasty message in your chat, on stream, wherever it may be, you go right over to report the junk. When you click on that, it actually gives you options. It says, do you just want to report it as junk? Do you want to block the sender? You could have all these, and you just get it out of there. And then that person can never, ever contact you again from that number, from that address, from whatever it is. And you move on with your life. And the thing is, if you don't respond to it, if you ignore it, what happens is it goes away. Because this person realizes I'm wasting my time. I'm not getting anything out of this bad act. The action was not rewarded. Let me move on and do something else. They literally did exactly the wrong thing. And I wouldn't be shocked. If this becomes a big thing now where everyone keeps getting these kind of messages. And did you hear what she actually said at the very tail end of the story? She said, oh, we're also getting reports that people of other ethnicities are also receiving, you know, insulting, harmful text messages. Of course they are because you keep reporting on it. That's like me, right? That's like me. The more you keep saying, acknowledging their trollish actions and reporting on it, the more they will continue. How on earth you don't understand how to, to handle trolling in 2024? How sheltered and insulated can you be that you don't know what this is? This baffles me. Again, I'm one of the people who's been most affected by this kind of action on the planet. And they've got the FBI going after this shit. When I've had multiple death threats and all this shit going on, that's what they're focused on. Anonymous mean texts. Good work. So for every dollar, every billable dollar that the FBI, all right, is getting paid, that's out of my taxes, by the way. So all my tax money, everyone's tax money in this country that we're paying and it goes to fund the FBI, this is what they're investigating. They're not stopping criminals. They're not stopping drug dealers. They're not stopping mass murderers. They're stopping the mean texters. Well, I'm glad I'll sleep. I will sleep soundly tonight, sending in my thousands of dollars of tax payment for the month to the feds so that they can stop the mean text. Man, let me tell you, amazing. I mean, slap bang job from the FBI there. I'm so happy that this is what we're focused on and this is what's important to our country. I'm in very, very dire straits. If you don't file your taxes, you could go to jail, all right? And I don't want to go to jail, but I need to be able to afford to file my taxes. So that's why I'm doing this special event on the 28th of February. I'm guessing I'm going to owe the government 20 grand. Not even, not even lying. And listen, not that life was perfect under Trump. It was not. It definitely was not. A lot of things were kind of messed up there too. But this last four years, most Americans are agreeing things went downhill. Much for the worse of how it was before. And people don't want another four years of promises and lied to stories about kumbaya, hold hands, rainbows and unicorns, jobs are up, money's up, everything's up. When in reality, no one sees that but the rich. Only the rich class are seeing the benefits of all these things that the Democrats are claiming are real. So then why the fuck would we vote for the Democrats? 
And Bernie Sanders, who used to be Democratic, who used to be one of the top Democrats, is here destroying them. 25% of elderly people are trying to get by on $15,000 a year or less. We have the highest rate of childhood poverty of almost any major country on earth and parents all over this country mm -hmm. worry that their kids may have a lower standard of living than they do. That is the economic reality. And what Donald Trump did is provided an explanation. He went around, he said, I know you're angry. And the reason is that zillions of illegal immigrants are coming over and they're eating your cats and dogs and everything else. And that's the funny part. He said all that and it's all stupid. But at least he gave an explanation while the Democrats were sitting there saying, well, it's all untrue, but people were experiencing it firsthand. I don't have money. I can't get a good job. All this is happening to me. How can you say it's not real? And then Donald Trump said, well, it's because of crazy people coming over the border, eating everything. <laughs> like there was a zombie. I usually just said there was a zombie invasion. Did you miss it? They came through. They ate the, the bottom four states. People still would have believed it because it's better than what the Democrats were saying. It really <laughs> it's just insanity. Well, that's the reason. Well, obviously, that is not the reason. The reason is, <laughs> in my view, that we have it unprecedented level of corporate greed today, more income and wealth inequality, and people on top want it all. And we need an agenda that says to the working class, we're going to take on these powerful special interests and create an economy and a government that works for you. And by the way, that can't happen unless you get big money out of politics. We got to get rid of the Citizens United Supreme Court decision so billionaires do not continue to buy elections. Hmm. Here's the thing. So a lot of people are morons in chat and they're saying, oh, Sanam, like, I love Bernie Sanders. I actually don't love him either. I like some of his ideas, but Bernie is an ultra progressive and ultra progressives tend to always want the absolute polarized best for their line of thinking without actually thinking about the cost of doing it. You know, like he would love, he would love if there'd be like a three day work week and people could be paid insanely high minimum wages and shit like that. And it's like, now how would that work? Because no matter what, someone has to pay for everything. There's nothing free. And that's the problem with guys like him is they go so extreme. Well, then who's going to end up paying for everything, right? Like they, they've lost the ideas and bad execution. But anyway, um, the point that I've been making in this very long segment tonight is the reason that the Democrats lost the 2024 presidential election isn't because the Americans went nuts and decided to vote for <clears throat> Hitler 2.0. I love Hitler. I'm Hitler. Hello. I am uh, Hitler of gaming. Americans looked at the years of 2016 to 2020 when Donald Trump was president, and they looked at their own life situations, and they said, during this time period, how was my life? Did I have money? Did I have a job? How are my kids? How was my health? What was going on in the country, and how did it all go? And they probably thought back to a time when things were not perfect, but they were better than they are now. Biden and Harris did not, and all the other Democrats that were in charge, you know, at this time were not doing a good job for the common American person, period. Or else they wouldn't have lost the common vote. Maybe they would have still lost the uh, electoral college vote. But absolutely, they wouldn't have lost the common vote. They lost everyone's common vote. And it's their own fault. Because they have Will Ferrell and Beyonce and Oprah dancing around like puppets, getting paid giant sums of money to do so, by the way. And no one gives a shit about them anymore. No one. Did you ever shove a Sharpie up your ass and absorb the fumes straight into your anus and get high? Yes. Yes. I did it. I used to do it. Buy a whole pack of Sharpie markers and shove them right up my rectum. One up each nostril, one in each ear, right up the rectum. High as a kite. You got me. Not everyone just eats American Thanksgiving dinner here. So we don't want this. What do you mean? I thought this is the Thanksgiving food drive. That's the point. It's Thanksgiving. Everyone's going to have a Thanksgiving meal. That's what I'm buying the food for. Uh, no. No, that's not good enough. You got to go to the website of the food bank, your local food bank, and you got to contact them directly on the phone and ask them what they want and then go buy the specific things they want to donate. There's, there's a, I'm sorry, there's a saying, okay? The saying is, beggars can't be choosers. But apparently in the modern era, the modern day, 2024, actually, beggars can be choosers. This is me. It's 100% me every day. They're outright telling you, no, don't just donate whatever to do the good thing or the right thing or to give someone food. You have to give them specifically what they want to eat as well. Because if they're starving and they're coming here to a food bank or they're going to a soup kitchen, they don't want to just eat the swill you bought for them. They want healthy food. They want culturally diverse food. The stuff that they're used to eating where they come from. Wait, what? I thought we live in America. I thought everyone's going to eat Thanksgiving dinner. No? I guess not. So what they're saying in this story is even though you're participating in the Thanksgiving food drive, you're actually not. What you're doing is you're just giving food 
to the food bank. And they can tell you whatever they want, and you better give them what they want, because if you don't, you are basically being incredibly insensitive. How dare you even think of donating food if it's not going to be appropriate to what the people in these communities who aren't going to eat Thanksgiving dinner want for food? <clears throat> what? Here's what you do. Find a food bank, all right? Because let's say if you're going to donate, you want to help people that are probably close to you or local to you, correct? So you click on find a food bank. And I'm just going to give you an example. I'm going to give you my old zip code. This is this is my current zip code. But just to show you, this will work with any zip code. So you could do my old zip code when I used to live in Connecticut was 06610. Okay. And just like that, you can hit search. Boom. There's a food bank that serves that zip code. And now you can actually click on the food bank to donate directly to them. Or you can actually volunteer at that food bank. Maybe you don't have money to give, but you could still help. You could donate your time. You could actually sort the food. You could probably serve Thanksgiving meals. You could still do things to help your local community that isn't people demanding that you go crazy making sure you're buying the right foods or else you're going to get a lecture and be told that what you did was wrong and how dare you do the wrong kind of charity, okay? Oh, I prefer tips. Tipping is really the best way that you can help me out right now. And by the way, since we have so many people here tonight on the stream, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask all of you out there to think for this local Thanksgiving coming up, to do something. As little as a dollar, or whether it's a, an hour of your time, whatever it may be, all right? Do something to help your local per to help your fellow man, to help your local person. Do it. Now, I'm not just saying this because, oh, this is what you should do. This is what you, you actually should do, okay? And just to show you that I put my money where my mouth is, I already made a donation tonight before I even streamed to show you that everyone should be doing this and follow suit, okay? Fair enough? I think that everyone should do something for the holiday season to help others. And if it's not good enough to go to the grocery store and donate the food, then do it through there. Don't let that, these people, these people, the American Heart Association of Washington or Georgia or New York or wherever the fuck they are, don't let them harass you into thinking that your charity is bad. Oh, you didn't do the extra work to figure out what people should be eating or what's culturally diverse enough for your area. Fuck you. Charity is charity. If people want to give, they give. Be happy that they want to give. Instead of being demanding and picky and assholes about it, you take the donations. Cut the shit. Please tip me. Tipping helps me more than anything right now. Um, I, I you know, that gives all the funds I can put to court. Yeah. How do you There you go. No, tipping helps me more than anything right now. Tips, tips, tips. I don't want to be Mr. Tips. If you can believe it, Dark Side Pimp just gifted another. 10 subs to the community. It's insane. Thank you, Dark Side Pimp, for the insane amount of support tonight. Obviously, I didn't ask for it, but it is greatly, greatly appreciated. 42, it might even be 52, because I don't know if I updated that properly. It might have been 52, but at least 42 gifted subs to the community tonight. Um, and remember, this show will be live streamed right here on Kick once a week. I'm ex you know, expecting to do it next Thursday night as well. Same time, same place. Oh my god! Oh no! No! There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. By eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>